What a moment to be alive, eh? USA winning the World Cup. A historical moment that not even I can believe. But it's time to move on and say goodbye to the USA as I'm putting my 100% effort into Real Zaragoza. As we left off with them, they won the Europa Conference League. And instead of going to Europa League, we've got a bumping first class ticket to the Champions League. With the addition of the brand new La Romareda Stadium, oh, things are looking good for us. Try and make some few phone calls, reunite the band. That's all to look forward to and more in season number four with Los Manos. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of the Rail Zaragoza Career Mode. And it's our fourth season. I'll tell you what, a lot is going down today in this episode. So much. But the real talk, the real elephant in the room is why did I leave the USA national team since I won the World Cup with them? So, my honest opinion is, USA was fun and all, and I really do appreciate Mr. Hawk getting a World Cup winner's trophy. First of all, things are a bit tense back in England. Mr. Hawk, every time I go back for a family reunion back with England, it's met with knives instead of hugs, so that's uh, one reason I'm leaving. And number two, we started things out with Real Zaragoza, and we're going to finish things out with Real Zaragoza. Now, I'm not going to set any more international men's jobs, I'll tell you that right away, and that is Scout's Honour. With that out of the way and the World Cup out of the way, I am currently 16 days late. As you can see, it's the 16th already and we're currently quite far away from the transfer. So hopefully, none of my main transfer targets have gone. But we're kind of late to the party as the saying goes. And how is the squad? Literally, things are doing great. I just love how the squad has gelled so much with the simple 4-4-2. It's worked wonders, I'll tell you that, especially in the Conference League final. But with Champions League away, and literally the eyes on us in La Liga. And trust me, eyes are going to be on us, especially our brand new La Romareda Stadium. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's going to be a top destination for Valentine's. Who wouldn't want to have a picnic in the middle of that pitch? And we're hoping to get new eyes, as in new players, into the squad. With £89 million to spend in this transfer window, I hope to make the additional signings I need to improve this squad and take it to the next level. And the one position that has been bugging me the most is a right back. Things have not been the same since Omar have left us. So, I decide to bring back Omar. Yes, he's doubled it worth last time. He cost us 2 million when I first signed from Espanol. But from Villarreal, he's cost me 18 million pounds. But I know he can get the job done. It's a special reunion. It's a happy one. And yes, I'm putting a release cost of 40 million. <laughs> Try and buy him back now. Yes, Omar is permanently back as a Real Zaragoza player. My next signing kind of burst the banks, and that's a big one, I tell you that. Centre midfield, I decided to go big. £40 million to Rafa Benitez Celta Vigo squad for their young, promising Portuguese midfielder. Yep, Joao Neves joined Real Zaragoza. Speaking about reunion, speaking about happy times, there were no happier times when this striker was a part of our squad. And yes, he is coming back. Buying him off Genoa for £9 million. Please welcome. I'm crying already. It's reuniting. It feels so good. Manuel is back as a Real Zaragoza player. Oh, God, I'm so emotional right now. But that's the reason why the squad looks good. Manuel has to work his way back into the starting lineup, though. As you know, Latanez has made a permanent start in, but I know Manuel can come off the bench and do wonders, especially Omar. I'm so happy to get him back. I'm in such a good mood. Let's hope my mood doesn't spoil as we kick things off with the match highlights. Stadium rules as our brand new La Romareda. It's opening, literally the ribbons there. Mr. Hawk cuts it as we've got our first game. Osasuna will be traveling to the brand new stadium. Latanas was going to write himself in the headlines, but it was a good save. But from the corner, Gabriel Sara heads it in, and it's Samba time. <laughs>
the celebrations, well, they were too early. As soon as they went on the attack, the shot, oh, Philippe had butterfingers. I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe you couldn't save it. Diallo did send through Ivan. Ivan like a tank. A man on the mission. Only had one eye on the target. Back of the net. Of course, Ivan, our own player since we had in season number one, is still scoring goals to this very day. Also, sooner on the other hand, wants to ruin it completely. Absolutely first time strike, top corner. And it resulted in our first game in the brand new Laurel Moreda Stadium ending 2-2. Disappointing, honestly. I hope to make things right, especially against Genoa. Sara plays it into Brian. Brian's intercepting Genoa traffic, but plays it across to Latanes for a hit and run. I'll tell you that, and it was literally a hit and run because Philippe was able to get new gloves and saved us out of that one for an easy 1-0 win. And it's on to the biggest club competition in the whole of world football, the Champions League. Real Zaragoza are in it, and the first opponent, it's a big one. Milan, but we're taking 4 4 2 and shoving it straight in Champions League. Let's honest, could have made an effort, but it was saved. Over the top through ball for Ivan, the shot, and you just need a ruler. A way of just at least hitting the target. But right afterwards, we need a little bit of a Brazilian connection. No, not Kaka and Alexandro Pato, but literally KK and Gabriel Sara runs through. See you later, Tamore. Goes far post and you get the first goal in the Champions League. Gabriel Sara reminds me of a Kaka, I tell you that. But straight from kickoff, oh my goodness. Just, just watch this from Bernardo Silva. Tore my defence. Like knife through butter and absolutely done everyone ending the ball in the back of the net. That is the greatest goal I've ever conceded. Hands down and oh, just ends with a 1-1 draw is more frustrating. So to be in a bit more jolly mood, welcoming back Valencia. Yeah, I forgot to tell you, they got relegated two seasons ago. It's a shame, I'll tell you that, but I decided to bring them a little bit of La Liga welcome gift, as you may people say, as Latares and Sara decide to join in with some goals as gifts. Sara went a little bit too over the top with the gifts as he gets himself a brace. More pain for Valencia. Joao Neves wanted to do a deliver something special, but the keepers managed to keep that out. But sooner or later, they crumble, just like having Gary Neville as their manager. Big Ivan scored from the corner, and then Manuel picks up a returning goal for Los Manos. And against Real Betis at the Romareda Stadium, it was men v boys, literally throwing it straight at them. And over the top, through ball to Latares, and the ball crept in nicely. And Latares decided to return the favour over the top, through ball into Ivan. Ivan converted it past Real Batiste. And it wasn't just those two getting along like a bundle of joy. As Neves decided to play it across to Gabriel Sara with a mid meal duo working well for us as Gabriel gets a third. And to make things a lot more worse for Real Batiste, a little bit of a scramble over here. But 4 0 at Laurent Moreira, absolutely smoking teams left and right. And look who's in front of us. Yes, Man United in the Champions League. As we were playing it nice and easy on the back, Omar with an absolute top pick vision into Ivan who top pokes at home. Literally, I don't know how Omar spotted it. Like a vision like a bald eagle. Oh, I can't get into that. It'll be reminds me of my America days. Then after that, things kind of got one-sided. To us, literally, Man United in the Champions League absolutely stunk the place out. And literally, this is brand new. Diallo was in, but this time Omar made a good save, which is quite weird seeing him in the Champions League. Then afterwards, Diallo decided to change his game plan. Plays it across to Brian, and well, that's the Onana I surely loved. Made a shocker. Things did get a little bit to our head as Rasmus Hoyland decided to return the favour to his Danish friend, Philip Jorgensen over here. But an over-the-top to Latanes was more than enough to spoil Erin Ten Hag's time here in Zaragoza. And things were kind of getting out of hand as Ivan got so bad after scoring that goal, he refused to celebrate it. On to my final team and a team I have still not beaten yet. Yes, that is Atletico Madrid at La Ron Moreza. 
Atletico, well, they were proving not to lie down for this time. Moretti went for a shot, but a brilliant block from Keiki. That's more good than scoring a goal at the other end. When it was our turn to attack, Joao Neves sent through Diallo. And he was like Lightning McQueen on a race and track. No chance for the Avetti defenders to catch up to him. And not even a speed bump that is name of Joao Oblak to stop him. But Diallo, he didn't just have speed on his style. Oh. Oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Boo, you suck. But skill's all good in that, but we need to score goals. Brian plays it across to Ivan over here, and Ivan makes it 2 0. I was in literally cruise control, and everybody was putting up 100% effort, especially Flip Jorgensen over here. It looked like he almost got a concussion after saving that effort. As Atletico kind of got exhausted, counter attack in, and it's old times again as Ivan assisted Manuel to make it 3 0. Sorry, I'm kind of getting emotional over here. Oh, God, we want people seeing me like this. We move our attention to the Champions League. And I tell you what, be honest with you, things are going swimmingly well. Absolutely glorious. Literally, you can open up a Corona, sit in a hot tub. It's that kind of well. Literally so good. So if we beat Manchester United, we're through to the round of 16. Or if not, then afterwards, we've got the bottom of the pack, Leco, which I have never heard that team in my life. And afterwards, we're through regardless. So, I would like to get the job done here at Manchester United at Old Trafford. Because, come on, what team says they've won at Old Trafford for crying out loud? Well, actually, think about it. Tottenham won. And afterwards, you can't forget about Liverpool's won. Jeez, that was a pain in the back. Oh, yeah, I remember West Brom won. Also, my brother has to remind me a lot that Norwich won at Old Trafford that one time. Okay, it's not the fact that winning at Old Trafford is the matter. It's about Champions League and getting through. And beating Man United will be one. Sh and beating the Red Devils will be proving that we deserve to be in this competition. Come on, Los Manos. Man United, oh, good intercession for Drow Neves. A future target for Man United. But look at me, he's playing Los Manos shirt. Diallo, fantastic touch. Find the target, plays across. No one there, but Brian. Oh, how did Onana save that? Literally, Onana in the Champions League, but Juicen saves. That's unheard of, literally. Oh, Brian shot. It was go. Actually, to be fair, it was actually going wide, so that save was pretty much pointless from Onana. But we've still got a corner, and you know, Mr. Hall loves a corner, especially when you've got the big. Oh, damn it, you couldn't get on target. Oh, Sancho tries to head it away. Hello, Sancho playing back in a Man United shirt. Man, all the stars are coming out tonight. Brian, through ball. Come on, here we go. Lovely. Get the hell off me, number seven. Oh, Latane's shot got saved. Davi Lopez. Good run. Good run for him. Through balls. Found Brian perfectly. Man United, they're swarming past him, but forgot about Latane's. Oh, Nana saved yet again. Onana boots it long. Francis headed down lovely. Brian, he's ruining the Manchester United defence just like their food reviews. It's a one-star performance. Good tackle, Dan. Oh, oh, oh we've got a foul. I've been too busy making puns, but watch this. Here we go. Look something from the training ground. Diallo over the top. Beautiful. Let's on it. Oh, how did he get rid of that? Seriously, this time to going to get unrealistic. All right, Joe Neves holds off the play. Beautiful. See, the Man United, you know, they're panicking over here. The same can be true. Gabriel Sara plays it across the Arlo roof of the net. It's 1 0. It's been coming. I'll tell you that. The work effort from these lads putting 110%. And it's produced well. Old Trafford surely is falling down. Rail Zaragoza takes the lead. Man United just before the half. Controlling the ball. One minute's pass. Referee's not blowing half time. Rabio, Admin Diallo. Come on, through balls at Rasmus Hoyland. Oh, that could have been something dreadful. Get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. Okay, half time. Oh, even though 90% we were in control of that game, that slight, slight scare at the end still means Man United have a good shot. But so far, we've been much the better team here at Old Trafford. Playing nice and easy now. We don't want Man United to get back in this. Francis. With the captain through balls at the Joe Neves. Lovely Latardes from the back. 
to the goal. It's beautiful stuff. And the second half, Latano celebrates with the rail. Zarek goes a faithful. And it's been a bit quiet, I'll tell you that. Rabio intercepts that ball. Plays a counter attack into Nico. Oh no, Green. Oh no, no! Oh, I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. It's not the fact that we conceded, it's letting him out of all players scored. Just so annoyed because we all know what type of person this player is. You know it, I know it, and especially Jude Bellingham knows it. Kimmich holds on to it. No, this is very scary. I don't care about my land score, I care about my one. Through ball, Rabio shoots, Flip Jorgensen sees us near the death. Mark Bartra, Omar now, 88th minute, time is ticking, through ball, I see Ivan running, and look who's in the box, touch controls, the returning hero, Manuel, scores late in the game to send Real Zaragoza through to the Champions League knock knockout stage. Even Mr. Hawk has never been so happy to see it. Full time and such a good game, I'll tell you that. Old Trafford was certainly falling down when Ray Zaragoza came knocking. 3-1, we're through to the round of 16. Let's up to date and see how we're doing halfway through the season. Well, would you believe it? We're first place. Not by much though, I'll tell you that. But still, first place. Real Madrid and Barcelona are not doing that well. But anything can change halfway through the season. I'm just taking it as it goes. And especially the round of 16, now in the Champions League, we do have Wolfsburg. So hopefully we can beat them and advance to the next stage. Now I can tell you what, I'm so happy with these boys. Just such a bundle of joy. I just look at the squad and I just smile. The 4-4-2, the players, the teams, literally I'm in such a good mood, Mr. Hawk. Uh, but hopefully I can continue that good mood into our next episode. Champions League on the line, title races on the line, so much determined. If you enjoyed today's episode, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and as always, I'll see you later.